This is Men Kuang, and in this video, I'll show you the difference between interchange plus pricing and uh, tier pricing. When people are shopping for a merchant account, most people will do some research on the internet and type in, say, best merchant account uh, rates. And you would see uh, this company is offering 1.19%. Uh, this company is 1.09%. And this company is offering 1.39%, and this company is offering 1.09%, and the discount rate for this company is at 1.29%. Uh, uh, these are what I call marketing or teaser rates, because these rates uh, usually apply to check card or debit card transactions, or transactions that require the customer to enter the PIN number. Uh, what they don't want to tell you is their discount rate for rewards cards because that's where all the profit is for these credit card processing companies. Most businesses has the tier pricing structure and there are four categories. There's the debit card transaction also known as check cards. Uh, these are cards that are linked directly to the consumer's uh, checking account. Then there's the qualified transaction uh, these are just uh, regular Visa and uh, MasterCards. Then there's the mid-qualified transaction. Uh, these are usually hand key transactions, uh, which usually applies to mail, phone, and fax orders. Uh, this is when you receive the credit card information uh, in the mail, over the phone, or fax, and you or your employee enters the credit card number onto the credit card machine. And finally, there's the non-qualified transaction. Uh, these are usually re rewards cards and uh, international credit cards, uh, such as a foreigner traveling to the States. Uh, rewards cards can be a cashback card, travel and entertainment card, such as a gas card or airline mile card. And um, the lowest rate you can get in the industry is, are these debit and check cards. So what you see uh, for these 1.9% uh, marketing teaser rates usually applies to these debit and check cards uh, but what they don't want to tell you or want, want you to ask is what their discount rate for mid-qualify and non-qualify because it can go up to 5% for non-qualify or 3 to 5% uh, surcharges. Something to watch out for is what is quoted and what's on the paperwork because the final quote is on the application that you'll be signing. Uh, First, I'm going to be discussing tier pricing because that's what most most people have. Then I'm going to go into interchange plus pricing. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use a teaser or marketing rate at 1.09% for the offline debit card transaction. Uh, offline debit card uh, is basically when a customer swipes their debit card or check card in front of you. For regular Visa MasterCard transaction, I'm going to use a rate of 2.09% for this example. Uh, for mid-qualified transactions, I'm going to use a rate of uh, 1%. And for non-qualified transactions, I'm going to use a rate of 1.46% uh, for this example. Uh, now, you may be asking, why is the rate for non-qualified transaction uh, lower than the rate for regular Visa and MasterCard transaction? Well, that is because this is a surcharge on top of the base rate of 2.09%. Uh, so when they salesperson quotes you a non-qualified rate of 1.46%, always ask, is this 1.46% on top of the base rate of 2.09%? And to calculate the discount rate, all you have to do is type in 1.46 plus 2.09. Uh, so you have a 3.55% discount rate for your non-qualified transactions. Uh, for mid-qualified transaction, uh, you could do the math here, is 3.09% discount rate for mid-qualified transactions. Uh, another example I want to show you is a salesperson might quote you 2.09% or, or the same rate for all three types of transaction and business owners fall for this all the time is that they would think that they have the same rate uh, and they're getting a good deal for uh, all three types of transaction but what they don't know is that this is actually a surcharge on top of the base rate of 2.9 percent 
and to calculate what the actual discount rate you just type in 2.09% plus 2.09% and you will get a discount rate of 4.18% for mid-qualified and non-qualified transactions. There's another pricing structure that Fortune 500 company uses to get the lowest possible rate a company such as McDonald's or Walmart and it's called the Interchange Plus pricing structure also known as Cost Plus pricing and to find the rate for Interchange Plus go to a search engine type in Visa Interchange Chart is usually the first link click on that when you see a Visa USA Interchange reimbursement fee click on that and you will see the wholesale rate or the interchange rate for Visa card. Uh, I call this the wholesale rate. Most retailers will fall under the all other category unless you're a supermarket. Uh, the rate is 1.3% for a Visa check card that's been swiped through at a retail location. We usually don't mark up the debit card or transaction uh, therefore we just give you the wholesale rate of 1.3% therefore our markup is 0.00% and give you the wholesale rate of 1.3% which is what the Visa uh, card is charging. If you key in your transaction the rate is 1.6% uh, we usually don't mark up a debit card or check card transaction therefore we just give you the wholesale rate of 1.6% okay, Most retailers fall under the all other category unless you're a supermarket uh, the rate is 1.54% for regular Visa card transaction and for this example I'm going to use 0.25% markup for Visa and MasterCard transaction and for with interchange plus pricing there is no surcharge for mid-qualify and non-qualify transactions therefore this is invalid and to calculate what your rate is just use 0.25 which is the markup plus 1.54 and 1.79 percent is your rate for at a retail location for a regular Visa card transaction and to calculate what the rewards card uh, rate is you just take 1.65 plus our markup of 0.25 percent And this is your, and 1.9% is your rate for a rewards card transaction at a retail location. Uh, now that I show you how to calculate uh, what your rate is, you could do the same for keyed in transaction for e commerce if you're a restaurant. As you can see, there's more transparency with Interchange Plus pricing because we show you what the markup is. Therefore, you get to know how much profit is being made for being a credit card processor. That's why Fortune 500 companies prefer to use Interchange Plus pricing to get the lowest credit card processing rate and fees. You do not need to be a huge corporation to qualify for Interchange Plus pricing, also known as Cost Plus pricing. I can get you set up with Interchange Plus pricing even if you're a subscriber. When you sign up with us, we guarantee we'll never raise the rate on you because it's a fixed markup and you lock in the low discount rate as long as you keep your account active.